in what will be the country's biggest follow-on public offering. Vodafone Idea on Friday said it would raise up to 180 billion rupees or 2.16 billion dollars later this month through a sale of new shares. A follow-on public offer is a process by which a company which is already listed in the stock market issues new shares to investors or existing shareholders, generally the promoters. The company raises additional funds through the issue of these shares. Now, as you know, Vodafone Idea is burdened with debt. In February, the company said it would raise up to 200 billion rupees through equity, which included financial support of 20 billion rupees from a top shareholder entity it did not name. The public offering, which will take place at a floor price of rupees 10 per share, will open for bids from April 18th to April 22nd. And experts believe there could be many takers for it, as Vodafone Idea is the country's third largest telecom carrier by number of subscribers. Shares of Vodafone Idea were down 2.3% at 12.65 rupees in early trade today. The largest FPO before this was a 150 billion rupees share sale by Yes Bank in 2020. Vodafone Idea also plans to raise an additional 250 billion rupees through debt, for which it has been in talks with lenders. But so far, the company has not specified details. Talking about what will these funds be used for, Vodafone Idea said that they would use the equity and debt funding to roll out its 5G network service within six to seven months of securing the funds and expand its existing 4G coverage. Larger rivals like Bharti Airtel and Reliance have already launched their 5G services in most parts of the country. Formed in August 2018 as a merger between the Indian arm of UK's Vodafone and Aditya Birla Group's Idea Cellular, the telecom operator Vodafone Idea has since posted a loss in every quarter as its subscribers have increasingly switched to rivals. The company reported a total debt of 2.15 trillion rupees on December 31, 2023. This includes deferred spectrum payment obligations it owes to the government of India. Its cash and cash equivalent stood at 3.19 billion rupees for this period.